In this beginner's guide to tuning your drums, we'll be covering a few simple techniques to get your drum hits tuned to a specific note and in key. Hi, my name's Akito. I'm a DJ and producer based in London. In today's video, we'll be covering a variety of methods you can use to tune your drum samples to get them in key and pitch to a certain note. Whether you are working in Ableton's drum rack device or programming your drum samples in audio tracks, you will get your drum sounding more harmonious with the rest of the elements in your compositions. Make sure to stick about until the end to see what method is best for your workflow and catch all the tips along the way. First, we'll kick off with an 808 bass drum. In this example, I've selected an 808 and imported it into Ableton's sampler device. I've created a MIDI clip and input the note of C3. This is the default root key on the sampler device. I'll then add a tuner after the sampler. This works great on detecting the notes of an 808 kick drum. The tuner device doesn't always work on everything else though, unfortunately. Finding out the root note through the tuner. We'll then input the information into the sampler's device here. You can always then fine tune it using the detune feature. This is located to the right of the root key. And that's pretty much it for the 808. You can now place it up and down your piano roll knowing it will be in tune to the rest of your music. Number two is tuning drums in drum rack. Next, we're gonna retune a percussion sound. For this first example, I'll be using a snare drum in Ableton's drum rack device. I'll create a MIDI clip and add in a few hits to get the ball rolling. Next, I'll add in the Spectrum device. The easiest way to find the fundamental note of the snare is to have it playing by itself. When I'm in the mix downstage, I'll use this method by soloing the sound I want to tune then playing it while monitoring the Spectrum plugin. If I hover over the largest peak in the Spectrum, it will display the frequency as well as the note and octave to the bottom left of the device. Once I have all the information I need, I then tune the drum by adjusting the transpose knob of the sample to my desired note. Once I have adjusted it, I'll play it again to double check to make sure it's hitting the correct pitch. Once I'm happy, I'll move on to my next drum until I've tuned all of them to my preference. Here's an example of a loop with untuned drums and tuned drums. And third, we got tuning drums in audio track. In the next example, we'll be tuning drum samples within the audio tracks. To find the fundamental note and pitch of the drum, we'll be using the Spectrum again. Similar to our previous example, let's solo this drum in this pattern and tune it. I'm gonna add the Spectrum to the channel. Once I find out the note, I then have a few options to tune it to my desired note. I can double click the sound and adjust the transpose up or down, very similar to the drum rack example. Another method would be to use the frequency shifter device. It's worth experimenting with both and seeing what works best for you. The most common practice is to at least tune your kick to the root note of the key of your song. This can make your music more harmonious and marry the sounds together more easily. I find it helps out in many ways besides making things sound more musical. These methods have helped me out loads over the years in the mix downstage as I have a lot less frequencies clashing against each other and fighting for space. 
I hope you've gained some value from this video. If you have, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and checking out the links in the description of the video. I've also left some videos you may find handy in the end card. Until next time, love.